welcome to week one of Advent. Advent is the time of year that we're getting ready for Christmas, and it means coming. So who's coming at Christmas time? That's right. If you guess Jesus, give yourself a pat on the back. So it's our time of year that we're getting ready for Jesus. And our theme this year is called Building Christmas. So I can't wait to introduce you to our Lego Master Builders, Ben and Sonia, and hear all about how they're getting ready for Christmas in Lego World. But first, it's time for stewardship. So this year for Advent, we have a special stewardship focus. So we have a present for all of you. So for all of our St. John Sunday School families, we have an Advent bag for you here at church. And inside that bag is an Advent calendar. So some of you might have Advent calendars at home where you open up a little door or a window. And there might be a chocolate inside or a toy or just a Bible verse to read. Well, this Advent calendar is special because it's called the Kindness Calendar. And it's filled with all sorts of fun things that you can do with your family. And it's all acts of kindness for each other or ways to bond and be kind to each other and your family. So, like, you can, oh, say thank you to people. You can call people who are far away. You can have a hot chocolate gratitude party and even go on a Christmas light scavenger hunt. There's lots of fun stuff. So here's how it works. Starting on December 1st, you're going to pick one of these things inside each day to do with your family. And then after you do it, you're going to talk about it. And then you get to take a circle sticker right there and put it on your tree. And there's 24 circles, so that way you'll finish on Christmas Eve. So that's our stewardship focus for the month. All right, it's time for music and to meet our Lego Master Builders. I'll see you in a bit. Oh boy, oh boy, it's the best time of the year in Lego City. I know, it's Christmas time and I am so excited. And we've got to deck the halls with all the Jolly Legos. Yes, we need lots that are red and we need a lot that are green and I think even some white ones too. Well, but first things are first, we need trees. 
Nothing says Christmas like a Lego Christmas tree. You said it, Sonia. Hey, do you want to race to build trees? Oh, yes, you're on. All right. I win! What? But... What is that? It's a tree. Yeah, that's not a Christmas tree. Yes, it is. No, no, this... This is a Christmas tree. That... That... Is a lowercase t? It's not a lowercase t, it's a cross. A cross, silly Ben, this is Christmas, not Easter. Well, what better time to remember the tree where God gave us the greatest present, present we could ever receive? What do you mean? Well, Sonia, what do you think when you see a Christmas tree? Mm, tinsel. Okay, and what about after that? Mm, lights. And after that? Um, oh, oh, this Mr. Potato Head ornament my dad gave me three Christmases ago. That was so ugly, I have to put it on the back of the tree. Okay. Well, let me, let me try this a different way. What do you put under the tree? Oh, presents. Yeah, presents. At Christmas time, we celebrate the gift God gave us by exchanging gifts with one another. Jesus was born at Christmas, but the real gift happened when he was on the cross and he died for all of our sins. Oh, you're right. Jesus died so he could forgive our sins. That is a better gift than anyone could ever give anybody else. Yeah, like a Mr. Potato Head ornament. Christmas trees with lights and tinsel and stuff are beautiful this time of year. But for me, there's no tree that better represents Christmas like the one my savior died upon. It's a lovely tree too. I'm so glad God sent Jesus. Yeah, me too. It just wouldn't be Christmas without him. People walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. Christmas trees are lovely this time of year. We see them in every storefront, in the city streets, and the front windows of the houses in our neighborhoods. Their lights, their ornaments, 
and the tinsel are a lovely reminder of the joy that comes at Christmas. But the joy of Christmas isn't because of what happened that first Christmas. It's because of what happened on another tree at Easter. God sent his son to be our savior. We are the people in the darkness who have seen the light. We are the people Jesus died to save upon the cross. Wow, that was so much fun, wasn't it? What a good message too. It's easy to think about Christmas as Jesus's birthday party, but it's important to remember who Jesus was and why he came here and why we're celebrating his birthday in the first place. So this week, your job is to build a Christmas tree. So um, there's lots of ways to build a Christmas tree, but since we're building Christmas, I want you to think about building it out of something. So you could build a Christmas tree out of Legos, or you could build a Christmas tree out of blocks, or build a Christmas tree out of um, Play-Doh or sticks or lots of ways. And then I want you to put it somewhere special in your house because each week we're going to build something else to go with our Christmas tree that we built. All right, let's pray together. Repeat after me, dear God. Thank you for sending us Jesus. And help us to remember that he is the reason for us to celebrate. Amen. Okay. Our blessing this week and for all of Advent is, is going to be Jesus is coming. So make the sign of the cross on your forehead or on somebody else's forehead and say, Jesus is coming. All right, I'll see you all next week. Bye, everybody.